On this cool down, we yeah. are going to be experiencing over the weekend. A lot of people looking forward to it. It's time. I mean, it's we've time. reached our limit with this heat. We broke another record. Yeah, you know, that just <laughs> seems to be like regular stuff now. But yes, today was the hottest October 4th on record. Tomorrow will be cooler than normal for this time of year. It's because of the clouds, that northeast breeze that will make it feel so chilly. Okay, maybe chilly's a stretch, but cool. 67 in the upstate, 65 in the mountains. Normally, we are in the 70s. Over the next couple of weeks, if you're going to do some leaf peeping, it looks like the higher elevations of western North Carolina will start to peak, but mid to late October, that's really what we're looking at for spots like Asheville, Hendersonville, up towards Caesars Head. Maybe you're going to be going to Table Rock. That's when we'll see the best color there mid to late October and then early November as we head into most of the upstate. And that's really because it's been so warm and the drought too. All of that's kind of slowed down the color process. Now let's take a look. We're in the 80s still in many areas. No sign of fall just yet, but it's coming. We've got a front that's going to be sinking to the south and pulling in that cooler air with it as we go into tomorrow. But it will bring some clouds and a few patches of drizzle. So just keep in mind early in the morning not going to be the prettiest. If you're heading out in the morning to downtown Greenville, maybe going on one of the walks, it looks like you're going to be dealing with some okay weather. Actually pretty good for getting out for a jog or a brisk walk. Uh, and it looks like we're going to continue to keep that fairly cool uh, temperature around into the afternoon as well. On the Carolina Sky Meter, we're going to rate it a decent one with a 7. I couldn't go too much farther with it because of the fact that it's going to be so cloudy. That breeze is going to be a little frustrating at times, and we do have the chance for a little bit of drizzle. But other than that, at least we're getting some fall-like temperatures for a change. There's a look at some of the light shower activity tomorrow morning, but it's going to be pushing through so that by the afternoon, notice that it's mostly dry, but the clouds are still there, and that's what's going to keep it in the 60s all day. Heading into Sunday, we'll see the clouds break up a bit, may even see a stray shower, but in general, it's going to be warmer 70s, not 90s. So at least it'll still feel fall like in case you want to go pick apples or maybe head to the pumpkin patch. Then by the time we get into next week, another front approaches. This one's going to bring a little better chance of rain, mainly for Monday night and then another big cool down. Excited about that. Now, as we take a look at this weekend, upper or mid 60s expected for Saturday, a slight chance of rain on Sunday, upper 70s expected. So there will be a pretty decent warm up through the weekend, but this right here will be right about what you would expect for this time of year in the upstate. So I think uh, the second half of the weekend is your best bet for getting outside, but I still think it'll be pretty nice on Saturday for getting out. You just may want the long sleeves um, and you may need a little bit of a rain jacket, especially in the mountains. And on Sunday, some of that rain may be approaching along the Tennessee border. So I'd have the rain gear handy just in case. But at this point, only going with about a 30 percent chance for rain. Next seven days, notice next week. Oh, my goodness. I mean, this should be the headline of the forecast is that we're about five days away from sunshine and 72 degrees. Wednesday is looking like just a spectacular one. After that front moves through early in the week, it's going to be beautiful weather. In fact, I'm thinking perfect tens for Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. And luckily fall for Greenville kicks off this upcoming Friday. So we'll have some good weather, at least for the start of it. And we'll see if it can hold on through the weekend. Now it's time for your riding forecast sponsored by Harley Davidson of Greenville. Happy to report that it's going to be a good weekend to get out on the roads. Just might be a little frustrating with some of that drizzle in the morning on Saturday. And you'll likely need the jacket, um, especially with that breeze. And if you're going in the bike, 60s will feel pretty cool. A little better on Sunday with upper 70s on the way near what you would expect for this time of year. In the mountains, low to mid 60s on Saturday, low 70s on Sunday. Just watch out for a stray shower or two, but otherwise looking pretty good, guys.